It is that time of year again. The NBA season kicking off tonight with LeBron and the two-time defending champion Heat hosting Derrick Rose and the Bulls. And so we figured this would be a good time to check in with our resident college hoops expert Jordan Cornette to get a feel for which rookies you think might be making the biggest splash in the pros. Let's start with the obvious one. The Cavs blew everybody's mind taking UNLV's Anthony Bennett as the number one overall pick. Everybody was like... Where did that come from? What are you hearing about him so far? I mean, I monitored that thing closely, Bonnie. What did you think? I had no idea a guy like Anthony Bennett. I went to was... Google and I said, well, who's Anthony Bennett? That's it, like most of the country did. It was unbelievable. You know, this was a guy who coming into the season had the torn uh, rotator cuff surgery uh, early May. Didn't get really back into things till about early on in the exhibition season. But then he started to show signs why he was that number one pick. The guy's got great range outside, which is pretty incredible for an athlete like him. The thing they really want this guy to work on to become a dominant player is can he develop the low post game? I think he'll be a double-double guy. That Cleveland rebuilding project is in full swing. He'll be a big-time contributor. He will be one of the best players in the NBA as a rookie coming into the season. How about Kelly Olenek from Gonzaga? He went number 13 overall to the Celtics. You're hearing a lot of stuff. NBA GMs think he could be the steal of the draft. What do you think? I do think he could be the steal of this draft, Bonnie. The thing that they really want this guy to work on is defending guys on the perimeter. Can he, defender, can he defend perimeter guys, but can he also play down low and defend in the interior? They love what he does offensively. He's incredibly efficient. But will he be more aggressive? Coach Stevens, Brad Stevens, a new coach there, everybody remembers him from Butler, really wants this guy to pursue his own shot. That's the thing that can push him over the threshold of becoming a truly dominant player. Just stay golden. Don't change the hair. <laughs> I have one small request from I mean, Kelly. It Olenek. looks like it needs to be washed or something. You tell him that because I'm not going to be the one to <laughs> He's do that. Guy. All right, I want you to give me three players you expect to be in the thick of things at the end of the season for Rookie of the Year. My first guy's got to be Victor Oladipo. This is going to be the guy. I think he's the rookie of the year coming in. People think I'm crazy when I say this, but he reminds me a lot of D. Wade. He can, he's, the athleticism is like nothing I've seen before. He's a playmaker offensively, but what's most impressive, he's a playmaker on the defensive side of things. He can lock down defenders. He'll turn guys over, turn defense into offense. This guy's going to get a chance to shine. They're using him at the point guard position early. I think he'll make a difference. Another guy, Ben McLemore. This is a guy with the Sacramento Kings. I mean, look, that team's going to be awful this year, so he's going to get the opportunity to do a lot. He's what the NBA loves. He's a guy that hunts his own shot. He makes plays. He's ready-made offense. With him and DeMarcus Cousins, I think that could be an incredible one-two punch. My most intriguing rookie, though, is Steven Adams, the New Zealander who you may remember from Pittsburgh, the big fella. Why I like this guy, Bonnie, is simply because he doesn't have to come in right away and make an impact. Oklahoma City, that's a refined, polished team led by Kevin Durant. You got Westbrook as well. So all he has to do is play his role. Rim runs will be essential for him to get buckets. He just needs to be a bully down low and he needs to eat the glass. Those those are things he'll, he'll play sparing minutes, so a lot won't be asked of him early on. As if OKC needs any more talent. But they can they do? Loaded. Can they win the big one though? I mean, there's uh, the Heat. It's still the Heat's NBA, but teams like this are threatening. And here in Chicago, D Rose is back. Mm -hmm. A lot of excitement. But there. you get seasoned very quickly when you get the the finals experience that the Thunder have had over the years.